Breaking news Timmy Priya Silva disqualified for Paisa governorship race. Wow, so what did he do? What happened? And this happened at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Okay, so what is the case and why was he disqualified from participating in the upcoming governorship election in Bayesa State? Mm. So let's dive into the details uh, without speculating and without much ado, let's go into the details and see why Timmy Priya Silva was disqualified from Bayesa governorship race. Justice Donatus Okorowo of the Federal High Court Abuja in a judgment delivered on Monday disqualified the Baeza State of Progressive Congress PC candidate in the November 11 governorship election, Chief Timmy Priye Silva. Justice Okorowo ruled that Chief Timmy Silva, Chief Silva having been sworn in twice and ruled for five years as governor of Baeza would breach the 1999 constitution as amended if allowed to contest again oh boy the judgment also declared that Siva was not qualified to run in the november poll because if he wins and is sworn in he would spend more than eight years in office as governor of the state citing the case of marwa versus nyako at the supreme court okoro was noted that the drafters of the country's constitution stated that nobody should be voted for as governor for more than twice and that the parties to the suit agreed that Silva was voted into office two times. He further stated that the Supreme Court ruled in the case of Marwa versus Nyako that nobody can expand the constitution or its scope. So if Silva is allowed to contest the next election, it means a person can contest as many times as he wishes. Hmm. The seat number Federal High Court FXC slash Abuja slash CS 821 was filed on June 13, 2023 by Demet Kolomo, a member of the APC. Oh boy. So if Timmy Priya Siva is allowed to contest, he will be sworn in three times, and that is against the constitution. And he will spend more than eight years in office. That is also more than not, not not the constitution because he has been sworn in twice and has spent already spent five years in the office as governor before now so if he goes in again he'll be sworn in the three times if the third time if he wins and then he will spend another four years plus the first five years that is another that is nine years instead of maximum of eight years now wow so now that they disqualified him who is going to replace him that is the question or does it mean that um, APC will not have a governorship candidate in the forthcoming election? That I don't understand. Have they done their primaries? Hmm. So, because that is the issue here, I'm sure someone else is going to take his place. Because uh, if they don't do that, it means that APC will not have a candidate, which is not possible. There must be a candidate. I think they are warming up for primaries. The election is next year, actually. So that women are for primaries, if, if not, that they have done it or so. So if uh, um, that be the case, then he will be removed from that race and some other person in the PC will take his place. Let him go look for some another role elsewhere to capture. Now, wow. This one, uh, <laughs> this political game, eh? the thing get as it be. The more you look, the less you see. It's okay. Um, he has he cannot eat his cake and have it that is it he cannot eat his cake and have it so let him take it the way that come and get ready for another opportunity and let's see people are already making their own comment here let's see what people are saying somebody said all this um, leadership selfishness is he the only person to rule as government by his state Abi, he's not the only person now so he has tested it and is well paid let's so let him allow someone else to go as well and someone say i hate it when people know the law but to recklessly fall a victim of it the new electoral law 2022 forbid him from contesting again but he's being selfish that is the truth our leaders are very selfish at all levels so i'm sure selfishness is what is driving him to go and contest again he should have gone for ministerial rule 
or gone for uh, maybe uh, maybe Senate or House of Rep or some other different roles and not this one. You should allow someone else to go. Uh, somebody said APC is a party of rogues and we thought PDP was worse. Now we've seen that PDP is a set where the demonic APC is. And now it's more thing. You know? yeah? APC has broken everybody's back. I tell you, people are now praying that if PDP can come back, it will be better. Because the government of PDP uh, was far better than the government of uh, APC. It's a very funny one, I tell you. Very, very funny one. So, Timmy Priest Siva should go arrest and let someone else uh, go. And somebody saying uh, that serves him right. Okay? How many governors does he want to make out of himself with nothing to show for it? Abi? <laughs> He has been there and there's nothing to show for it. So why not allow someone else to go? Why does it take it the best? That is the problem we have in Nigeria. All of them, once they enter, they don't want to go. They want to die there. That they think they are the best. Even when they know they're not performing, even when they know that people don't want them there, they want to force themselves down the truth of the people. Uh, somebody is saying, if it is true, let him go and find what to do a beg. They are not helping their people. But themselves and their families and that is true they're not helping their people it's only themselves and their family okay uh somebody say uh not fake news okay because somebody is trying to call it fake news but it's not fake news he won he won against him uh about apc primary last week but this one is different case okay do we still have constitution in nigeria is it not the will of APC that always prevail? Abi? Nobody they follow constitution and I with APC talk. They are the people uh, APC in the nation to the direction it is now. Uh, only God knows where Nigerians will be out of the hooks of um, the APC. Uh, so okay, let me see what somebody is trying to say. Um, this judgment is a miscarriage of justice and can't stand. The test of time in the appeal court because Siva didn't contest for the office of governor in the first instance. He only completed good luck Jonathan Tenno and he contested and and won just once. Okay, this case is similar to good luck Jonathan case when he completed his principal tenor and uh, contested and won and still contested again and lost. Okay. So, because when he contested it third time, he lost to um, to Buhari. Okay, so the same scenario that played out in the Bayesa was the same scenario that played out federal during the time of Good Lord Jonathan. So, Good Lord Jonathan is actually all of this um, because of Pastor Jack Bor took him out of governorship role and made him the the president with uh, uh, Yaradua. But Yaradua passed on untimely and then Good Lord finished it. Went in again, contested so altogether stayed six years and then wanted to contest the third time, but uh, he lost that. He did contest it actually, but he lost that. Okay, he lost that. So that is what is happening in Bayesa State. Let's have your comment for sharing as well. Timmy Priyasiva is disqualified by the Federal High Court Abuja.